In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to move from a two-dimensional project to a three-dimensional project, actually modifying the material you have to imitate 3D. Now the output will depend upon the kind of hardware that you have. So let me show you a couple of basics. I have here both a clip and a still image. Now let's try to apply three-dimensional to both of them. So I'm going to click on the image first, and then I will click on my Power Tools button above the timeline. One option here is 2D to 3D. I'll click on that. It analyzes it, and it makes a change. We have only one thing that we can do, and that is our scene depth. And so it goes all the way from 1 to 255. And the farther toward the plus side, uh, you'll see the difference here. Now I can't see any changes in my preview screen because I haven't turned the mode to 3D. If I click on the down arrow, I have several options. I have my standard 2D, which is my default display. I have Auto Detect 3D, which converts it to this. I also have the uh, Anaglyph Red Cyan 3D which is apparently what I've already detected. I have a 3D Ready HD TV, and I also have a fourth option, which is a micro polarizer option. So it depends on what kind of hardware you're creating this for. I'm going to s stick to the, the more common one, the uh, Anaglyph Red Cyan one, and that's what it looks like. Now I'll go back and I'll make this as as uh, maximum as possible and notice the shade of red here the depth if you have the um, anaglyph glasses where the, the red is on the left side the blue is on the right side but if you have those you can buy them at Amazon the cardboard or uh, actual plastic glasses for eight bucks or less uh, you can test it and see what this looks like in this particular mode and so I've changed the picture now let me go to the um, the video and I have the same kind of screen in my power tools I can go 2D to 3D there and all of a sudden it changed my video and again I can change the degree and say apply to all and it will recast it and so I'm looking at it as a three-dimensional item so let's go ahead and go to produce and I'll create these and then show you what they look like before I show you the results, let me show you the options in Produce. I'm going to use a WMV file here, but when I get into three-dimensional, I have three formats to pick from. I have a side-by-side -side with full left and right. I have a side-by-side -side half with left and right. And then I have the anaglyph format. So I'll produce each of those and then show you the results. To start with, I'd like to show you the three options which I've produced and put in my timeline so we can view them inside of the 3D view feature in uh, CyberLink PowerDirector. So the first one is full side-by-side. -side. And when I, when I view it inside of PowerDirector, in 3D mode, that's what this one looks like. Okay, and now let's go ahead and look at the half side-by-side. -side. And we'll look at the anaglyph, the third variation that I rendered. Okay, those are how the three look when they're inside the program. Now let's look at this, the raw files for someone who isn't viewing them inside of PowerDirector. Here is the full side-by-side -side when we're looking at it just in a regular video player on my Windows desktop. And now here's what the half side-by-side -side looks like when it's played in a standard video player on a Windows desktop. The 
The third that you're looking at now is the anaglyph production uh, recorded uh, from PowerDirector on a, again on a standard video screen on a computer. I'll play it so you can see a little bit. Now we're back to our PowerDirector edit screen. I guess my conclusion for 3D is that if uh, you have the option to do this and have the right equipment, you can produce something that can be quite effective. But you need the right kind of monitor or a standard monitor with the anaglyph glasses in order to benefit from it. If you're producing for a certain kind of equipment and you know how it works in detail, my guess is you can do a pretty decent job of emulating 3D in PowerDirector. But if it's something you're interested in, go ahead and experiment with it and uh, let me know how it works out for you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.